Another day, another story. As an AI language model, I cannot generate images or drawings, but I can describe a general cross-section detail of a typical bridge. Keep in mind that bridge designs can vary significantly depending on factors such as the type of bridge, e.g., beam bridge, arch bridge, suspension bridge, span length, load capacity, and the terrain it crosses. Let's consider a basic cross-section detail of a typical concrete beam bridge. Roadway surface. This is the topmost layer of the bridge, where vehicles and pedestrians travel. It is usually made of asphalt or concrete to provide a smooth and durable surface. Barrier or parapet. Running along the sides of the roadway surface, barriers or parapets are provided for safety, preventing vehicles from accidentally driving off the sides of the bridge. Deck slab. Below the roadway surface, there is the deck slab, which is the horizontal load-bearing component of the bridge. It spreads the weight of the vehicles and other loads across the supporting beams and girders. Girders or beams. These are horizontal support structures that span from one abutment to another, the supports at the ends of the bridge. They carry the load of the deck slab and distribute it to the vertical supports. Diaphragms or cross bracing. Diaphragms are horizontal bracing elements that connect the vertical supports, piers, and girders or beams. They help stabilize the bridge and resist lateral loads. Piers. Piers are vertical structures that support the bridge at intervals along its length. They transfer the load from the deck slab and girders to the foundation below the bridge. Foundation. The foundation is the structural base upon which the piers and abutments rest. It is usually deep enough to provide stability and ensure that the bridge can withstand the loads without settling. It's essential to note that this is a simplified representation, and actual bridge designs can be more complex, especially for large or unique bridges. Additionally, different types of bridges, such as arch bridges or suspension bridges, will have different cross-section details and structural elements. The dimensions and materials used will also depend on the specific requirements and conditions of the bridge project. Engineering firms and professionals create detailed designs that conform to safety standards and local regulations for each bridge construction.